Finally, a disgruntled builder who filmed himself and sang as he destroyed five newly built homes with a digger has been jailed for four years. Daniel Niagu went on a 40-minute rampage in a row over thousands of pounds of unpaid wages. Dan Rivers reports on the million-pound wrecking spree. As revenge rampages go, this one by a disgruntled builder was as extreme as it was costly. He filmed his own wanton vandalism as if he were proud of the destruction, repeatedly swinging his digger into five brand new homes, which later had to be demolished. It was filmed not only by the man responsible, but also by terrified neighbours over the road who couldn't believe what they were seeing. So much for security. Yeah. As the digger devastated house after house. Mm. Oh, don't come near my house, please. The man responsible, Daniel Nyagu, was sentenced to four years today for causing a million pounds worth of damage to the retirement homes in Hertfordshire, which he gleefully filmed afterwards, apparently pleased with his work. There's not much we could do. We stood there mm. looking at it, thinking, oh, you know, when's it going to stop? But he got to the end, you know, when the police come, and he was just waiting for the police to come. Mm. And then he was quite happy to be arrested. They argue claims he was owed £16,000 by a subcontractor on the site, but the subcontractor claimed one of its vehicles had been taken to Niagu's native Romania without its permission. Neighbours living opposite couldn't believe the level of destruction. It looks like a, an actual disaster, um, like something could literally just, like, like an earthquake. Dennis and Doreen Beecham were due to move into one of the homes, but a delay in the sale meant luckily they ended up with another nearby. Obviously, we've got to settle for the one we've got, which we're quite pleased about now we've seen the state of this is. And these, yeah. they're completely demolished. Tonight, Nyagu's behind bars, having told police he thought he'd be safer in jail because he'd been threatened after being unable to pay his own workers. Dan Rivers, ITV News.